Hey guys, this is a light baked case study for a simple scene uh, where everything is light baked. This is often the case for lower end devices where you can't use real time lighting. We will be going over the steps involved in light baking. We will start by setting up our scene and then baking the lights. Once the lights are baked, we will take a look at the results and see how they compare to real time lighting. Lighting is important, so pay attention, this might save you some time. This is a simple scene with a room and some stylized assets that I imported from this package. I have a few things in my scene, a camera, direction light and the assets. Okay, so the first step is to prepare the scene and decide which assets we want to bake the light for. In this case, everything is not supposed to move. We will tell Unity that by selecting the assets and checking this box here. Second step is to generate the light map UVs for every asset. So make sure that for every asset, this generate light map UVs checkbox is checked. The third step is to make sure that the light you want to bake is set to baked. So let's select this direction light and set it to baked and set this shadows to our shadows. Let's pick this scene. Go to the lighting tab. Let's reduce this light map resolution to 2. Let's pick the scene. As you can see, everything is dark inside the room because the direction light is outside the room. It has no effect inside the room. Let's clear the data. Hide this direction light. Activate these lights. Here you see I have few lights in my scene. Let's make sure that these lights are set to baked. Also, you can set the light intensity, color and range of each light individually. Let's open up the lighting tab. Make sure you have lighting asset. Next, real time lighting should be off and baked global animation should be on. Set this to subtractive. You have three options for light mappers. You have enlighten. This is used for older projects. You have progressive CPU. This is more accurate. And then you have progressive GPU, which is more fast. Let's not change these settings and set this filtering to auto. This is a setting you want to play with. This will decide the resolution of the light maps and also the time to bake the scene. Start with very small number like 2 and let's hit bake. This is the result with light map resolution set to 2. It generated very low res light maps that are only good when seen from a distance. But we don't want this. Let's analyze this multiply. Select this shading mode option and then select bake light map. This will show you the actual light maps that were generated in the previous step. This checker pattern will show you the actual resolution of the object in the light maps. Let's select this table in the inspector increase this scale in light map number. This will give this table a higher resolution in the light map. Let's pick the light maps again. Note the difference on the table. Here, before, after, before, after. Let's do the same for two of the ground parts. You can clearly see the difference for the shadow of the table. Let's set this light map resolution to 10 and let's bake it. Now 
The total size of the light maps is 1.3 MB and here is the result. Better than previous one, right? Let's set the value to 40 and let's pick it again. Here is a comparison for all three values. That's it up guys. Thank you for watching my first tutorial on YouTube. If you made it this far, I would be honored if you'd smash that like button and subscribe to my channel. Uh, I will be posting more tutorials soon. So stay tuned. Bye.